We're going to take a closer look at a report out today showing a dramatic rise in autism cases. This new survey finds one in every 91 American children had been diagnosed with an autism spectrum disorder, some form of autism. Well, one in 91 is clearly a headline-grabbing number, a far greater rate than reported before. But there are questions about exactly what that number means. Here's John Donvan. The study in pediatrics runs nearly 4,000 words, but it's a single phrase on page 5 that is rocking the world of autism. The number of kids found to have some form of autism, 1 in 91. It's a number researchers got to by dialing random phone numbers and asking more than 78,000 parents whether a doctor ever told them that their child, age 3 to 17, has a form of autism. And given how autism advocates hammer at such numbers, one in 166, even as they get more frightening, one in 150, this new worse than ever number will likely be taken as further proof of what many fear, that the rate of autism in the U.S. just keeps going higher and higher. But this study doesn't say anything about the rate of autism. It was undertaken to get a picture of where we are now, not where we've been or where we're going. The uh, study doesn't suggest that the increase, that there's an increase in autism. Indeed, many scientists argue the increasing numbers reflect not more autism, but greater awareness of autism, so that it is spotted and diagnosed more often. They also say the definition of autism has broadened so that people who would not be considered to have it in the past now get the diagnosis. Richard Grinker wrote a book analyzing the prevalence of autism. You can't really compare today's rates with the rates of 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 50 years ago. Because? Because they're apples and oranges. The concept of autism was very different in the past. Many scientists now believe that one in 100 will finally emerge as an autism rate everyone can agree on. Today, autism is not as stigmatizing a diagnosis as it was before. And so parents are much more comfortable saying, my child has autism. That means my child has challenges, but that also means my child has strengths. And that is a change, but otherwise today's study leaves families with autism where they were before, with a great deal of work to do, and with a great deal of need for support. John Donvan, ABC News, Washington. And our medical unit has put together comprehensive information about autism, including expert answers to more than 200 frequently asked questions. You can find it all at our blog, The World Newser, at abcnews.com.